<laughs> that he stole. I'd love to be able to look you guys all in the eye right now as I give my little speech here and just use my notes. But because I am so angry right now, I'm going to read and try to get this done in my two minutes. What does Interim Superintendent Doug Latham really know about Jed Sherman? How often has he even observed him in the high school? He gets his information hand-fed to him from another administrator in the high school who doesn't like Jed and obviously feels threatened by him. In the short time Mr. Latham has been here, he has already stirred up two very controversial subjects without researching thoroughly first. What has Jed Sherman done that is so serious that he has to be let go? Is it, is, because, is it because he's more popular with the students, teachers, and parents than another unnamed administrator in the high school? Is it because he doesn't jump through the hoops that the school board or this administrator wants him to? Is it because he asks questions that may be uncomfortable? Maybe it's because he asks, asks questions at all. Mr. Sherman is proactive, won't jump through hoops, won't rubber stamp, won't join the old boys club, won't cover up, and will ask questions. He's very well respected by almost all students, staff, and parents. He exemplifies the pillars of character we preach every day. If these are criteria that are grounds for dismissal, then we have a problem, and it's not with Mr. Sherman. Thank the board. And when I heard this news break on the radio, I was in shock. I totally forgot that Jeff was on probation. And last spring when we went, when this happened, my first thought, one of my thoughts were, seeing Jed in the hallway, commending him how the kids would say, hi, Mr. Sherman, and really, really liked him and always acknowledged him. His response to me was, that's nice to hear, but I'm first and foremost his their principal. Sam Stoller. My name is Sam Stoller. Uh, I have over 400 signatures on a petition for the Spirit Lake High School principal, Jed Sherman. Uh, he has possibly touched over 400 lives uh, daily. Okay, I need to get these to Beth. These are petitions from staff throughout the district in support of Jed. I'd like to make many positive statements <coughs> about Mr. Sherman, but I will contain my marks, remarks to only a few given the time frame in which to speak. Through our change also in the ITED schedule, our scores have improved over the past two years. He has inspired the staff to work for change. This year, there was an additional incentive about paying for some ACT testing as well. I was at the January board meeting where the board, or where Jed and the other principals went over the ITBS ITED scores, and it seemed to be well received. I don't know, I've been told I don't know everything about this situation. But what I do know is that Jed Sherman has been good for the students and staff of Spirit Lake High School. I encourage you to table your acceptance of Jed Sherman's resignation until you've had time to mull over what's been said to you and will be said to you today. A man's professional life stands in the balance. If we would lose the Sherman family, we would also lose approximately $16,000 in state student aid. <laughs> That's as bad as every children. Time. But I'll sit down. First hand about Mr. Sherman's work ethic and professionalism. I know personally he works many evenings, multiple weekends, full time. He communicates well with me. He treats the staff and the entire student body with equal respect. He has never been vindictive to people who disagree with him. In fact, on occasion, numerous students have raised their voice to Mr. Sherman, and he, can he maintains his composure as is expected. A few different things. I mean, for one, Jean's been here longer than any of us, probably added together, and she's seen it all. I guess the number one thing that we're asking is get the facts and go over them. Not sure all the facts have been presented. I'm not sure you have all the facts. Now, as far as Mr. Sherman is concerned, that's what everybody's asking. And I don't think that's asking an awful lot. Is to <clears throat> sit down and mull over it other than a couple days. 
Good afternoon. First, um, I want to tell you, I understand there's two sides to every story. I understand that. But we're also here today, we know that we can work from a premise of inaccurate information or even a lack of information. <clears throat> and this can impede any person's position in authority with their decisions. Do you feel that you have been given time to gather and read all the information you need in order to make a decision today? First, do you know who evaluated Mr. Sherman? Have you seen Mr. Sherman's evaluation? Do you know the standards that he was evaluated on? Do, does the, do the comments that were made on this evaluation, do they commiserate with the dealings that you've had with this man personally? Do you know how the agreement between Mr. Sherman and our school board read from last year's debacle? Have you read that agreement? Do you know, are you taking a man's Time. word? Do, with all consideration, may I continue just for a bit? May I ask the board? We have several individuals. Lisa yes. Duffy. Okay, thank you. For your time. Um, I'd be willing to give her a couple minutes because mine is pretty short. Go ahead, Sharon. A concerned group of us gathered Sunday in a fog of disbelief. We ran a copy of the standards that this gentleman is evaluated on. We chose to examine them. A quiet voice of outrage smoldered. We chose then systematically to gather data. We have that in a notebook. We have a copy of that for each of the board members. Would you please consider taking the time to look at those three standards he has not supposedly met or exceeded and look at the evidence that we have pulled from our emails, from our work with him cheek to cheek in committee meetings. Will you please look at that evidence before you make your decision? Please allow time to be well informed. I personally would respect your decision in regards to the termination of Mr. Sherman Noy, without a doubt that you have not been privy to perhaps misinformation, lack of information, or even perhaps suppositions or innuendos. Instead, would you please look at the facts? Thank you for your time. 